Hey guys, how's it going? I wanted to come in here. This is going to be, believe it or not, let's call it a Kelly Quickie. That sounded inappropriate and I didn't mean for it to. Anyway, here's the thing. I am somewhat in the midst of my workout, but um, there's a point that I wanted to make because I got up today and if you've been watching my videos um, the past week or so, basically ever since I came back from, for those of you that haven't been watching the videos, um, God bless you. <laughs> You're probably sleeping better at night. Um, uh, ever since I came back from the Tony Robbins thing, you know, I walked on fire and all that because I'm a badass. But I had gotten a blister. And it's not the blister itself that was the problem. It's the problem is me and my impatience. And I peeled, so the blister was about this big, on the very bottom of my left foot, right under the arch. And like an idiot, the Monday I came back, I'm like, oh, this looks like it's better. Peeled it off like a total idiot. And totally opened up the skin. It was not ready to be peeled. Let me tell you, that's a way to learn a good lesson about blisters. Never do that again. So I think I've been home two weeks. This has been two weeks of letting this blister heal. Now, luckily I was able to, uh, and, and I guess that first Monday and what I'm about to talk about today is kind of the good point. And I, and I was, sorry, something's moved. I can't stand it when things are out of place. OCD, I know. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, when, I, when I did my vlog that day, the Monday that I came back, um, I, I shared with you guys that, um, you know, I got up and I'm like, oh, there's no way, you know, I'm not going to be able to work out, I'm not going to be able to wear socks, I'm not going to be able to wear my shoes, I'm just not going to be able to do anything. And then I thought, okay, let's just see what I can do. And I think what I did is I put in the uh, ballet body workout or, or something which doesn't require shoes and I did that. I'm not sure if I actually put on shoes that day, but long story short is I ended up putting a Band-Aid on it. I didn't have the uh, these ones that I ended up getting later that I remembered I had uh, purchased a while back when I was running a lot because I used to get blisters on the back of my heels because I didn't have the right running shoes. So I don't think I put this on, but all that to say, when this first happened a couple weeks ago, um, I put blisters on, I put, <laughs> Blisters on. I put my socks on, put a band-aid on it, and I, and I found one of my pair of Reebok shoes, for some reason, has enough space between the arch and where my arch, my very high arch, comes. So in other words, it wasn't, if you can imagine, like, here's the arch of my foot, and that blister is right up in there, so I'm fine as long as there's something not, like, pounding right on it. So I was able to, to find this, one of my pairs of Reeboks, I think they're, like, the DMX, um, and it wasn't pounding on that, so I was able to do my workout. So the past two weeks, what I've been doing is, you know, getting up in the morning, doing Turbo Fire or um, Les Mills Combat or, you know, one of my DVDs. I haven't done Kathy's uh, hip workouts because there's so much direct plyo that I thought, you know, that's going to end up pushing on the blister. And one of my, obviously, most important goals here is to make this freaking blister heal not make it worse. So I want to do what I can, and that's my point here. You do what you can instead of making excuses to not do it. And, and so many of us, I did it for three, probably three years, two or three years off and on, many times. When I was upset about the whole hormonal thing going on, I had the skin condition, um, you know, I didn't want to go to the gym because I didn't want somebody to look at the bumps on my shoulder or my back or, or whatever, and I didn't, you know, I felt fat, so I thought, oh, I'm not going to go to the gym, everyone's going to stare at me and point at me. Like, really? These are the thoughts that went through my mind. I actually thought back then, if I went to the gym at 155 or whatever I weighed then, you know, that literally the seas would part and everyone would be like, oh, what is she doing at the gym? <laughs> Okay, so that was what, uh, you know, would stop me from making a lot of progress because I would say, I'm not going to go to the gym until I've lost my weight. And then I would be at home and of course I wasn't losing my weight because I wasn't doing the right things that I needed to do to lose the weight. So it's this perpetual cycle of like not getting anywhere, just staying kind of in the same place. Um, when I first had the blister thing and I peeled it off, you know, talked about this. Your mind and your body is always going to try to take you to the easiest way out or the comfort zone, right? So you automatically think if you're starting to run. I've said it. Other people say it. Um, they all go, I'm not a runner. I can't run. I'm, I'm just not. I would never be able to do that. Have you ever said that? And you don't know it until you try. And then you try and you're like, wow, I really did it. 
my friend Michelle, you know, she was saying that she hasn't run in, in two years. And then me and Amy were kind of like, you know, kind of pushing and, and um, friendly gest gesturing to her on Facebook. She goes out and runs. Like one night she said, I ran a mile and a half. And then the next night she goes out and she ran two miles. I mean, she didn't think she could do it. So you find yourself giving yourself that cushion of, I can't do it. I'm, this is gonna be under 10 minutes, I swear, because I have to go finish. When I had the blister and I peeled it off, I automatically was like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this, I'm not gonna be able to do this, I'm not gonna be able to do this, I'm not gonna be able to do this. And then what I did is I snapped out of it and I'm like, what are you doing? You're finding your way out. How about you find what you can do? And so that's what I did. This might sound like, you know, some of you, some of you people that write on my blog and tell me how perfect you are would say, I've never had those problems. I've run, you know, 17 triathlons this morning. I don't know what your problem is. I don't have any issues. Well, God bless you. Go get yourself a cappuccino and knock yourself out, please. Uh, some of us actually have insecurities and issues. That's why therapy was invented. Anyway, so you, um, do what you can and you focus on what you can and then you feel better. So that day when I did my workout, I was like, ah, ah, haven't had any caffeine, nothing, nothing but water. So I went and I did my workout and I felt damn good. And for the past two weeks, I've gotten all my cardio in, I've gotten all my yoga in. I think maybe I've missed maybe two or three separate, either, you know, one yoga here, one workout. No, I've done my cardio every day. I don't think there's one day. Um, but I got up today. And I thought, because I was so excited two, night, two days ago, that I forgot I had this stuff. Okay, so this is what I've been putting on my feet, or my foot, my blister every day, which is wonderful. It cushions it, but I still kind of, every time I take it off, I'm like, my God, why is this healing so slow? And you have some people that'll tell you, oh, it needs air. Some people that tell you, no, it doesn't need air, it needs moisture. You know, and I kept thinking like, wow, it, when I take the Band-Aid off, it was like drying up and it hurt so much. I actually called Corey crying earlier this week. Like, I'm so, I feel like my foot is when I take it off. And I don't want to leave this on because I felt like in some way, maybe this was pre or not preventing it from healing, but it was just going slower. Like when I wanted it to go, I'm impatient for some reason. Um, I wanted to put some oil or something on it, and then I remembered I had this. Okay, so you guys know that I use Arbonne Skin Care, but this is one of the things I've, I've always had. It's like 15 bucks, and yes, if you want to buy it, you can buy it from me. 15 bucks, it's skin conditioning oil. And I remember that a lot of the Arbonne products, they always taught us, because they're all pure, safe, and beneficial, um, they've always said they're good for burns, they're good for eczema, they're good for all these skin conditions. So I got this, put it on, the very next day, I kid you not, I, not only did I sleep without a Band-Aid for the first night in uh, two weeks, slept without a Band-Aid, got up all day yesterday and the day before, and I've been walking around with no Band-Aid and the uh, sore is getting much better. I probably should show you the sore if I can, but I don't know if I can quite get my foot up there. Let's test my, can you see it? Oh, oh that was really, really pulling my glutes. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Sorry, but anyway, without... I, that would be really gross if I showed, if I got up on the counter and showed you the close-up because it still is a scab. It's disgusting. But anyway, um, put this on, was feeling better, so I was walking around with all this confidence in the world yesterday. Today's Saturday. So I got up today, and I'm like, I'm going running. Put my socks on, put a teeny little Band-Aid on. Um, not, you know, the hardcore, these Band-Aids, also because I'm out. Um, so I put that on, and then I put my running shoes on, my specific, I have lots of shoes that you can work out and run in, and then I have specific running shoes. So I put my specific running shoes on, but again, people remember have this really high arch. And most running shoes, if I'm correct, are made for people that pronate, which means that they go in, yeah, they go in, I go out. So most shoes are going to have that arch that kind of push your, pushes your foot out, not what I needed right now. So I put that on, I tested kind of running around in my house, running back and forth, and I just felt like it was enough that it was still going like that. And it's not that I couldn't deal with the pain, but I just thought, you know what? Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna like open this up again, and the, the it's, it's just gonna, I, I had a bad feeling, and my gut was telling me not to go. And then I was annoyed because I'd said on Facebook and I told everybody like, I'm gonna run today. Here's the thing, you have to like just get over it. If that's what your plan was, and, and I, my body is not ready to run yet, that foot is not ready to run yet, because I can't put the shoe on, wait another day. So you know what I decided to do instead? Obviously, hold on, let me get you to the right view on my new puller. Um, 
Uh, so I've already burned almost 500 calories and what I'm going to do to just bust it out and make myself feel better is I just finished uh, Turbo Fire and now I'm going to go in there and do some of uh, the ballet body, lower body workout and kick some ass and that's what I'm doing today. Now if I can't run until maybe middle of next week, so be it. It's not the end of the... I, I will tell you this, it is making me very, very antsy to run um, because you can't. So, you know, use stuff like that when either you've injured yourself or you're just starting. Maybe you started off and you started off with something too hard. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Take it down a notch. My parents are starting to do yoga and one of the things I'm, I'm doing is, you know, coaching them with what, what I know from my teachers and really both my sister and I were telling them like, don't give up. That's the one thing you want to make sure you do. Don't give up because yoga can be intimidating when you first start it. And two, you know, you're only competing with yourself. If you sit down on the floor and you try to touch your toes, you know, with your legs straight out in front of you and you can only touch your knees, that's where you start. You don't go, oh, well, I'm supposed to be touching my toes, damn it. I, I can't do yoga. There's no can't. There's only what you will do. So I said 11 minutes or I said under 10 minutes, but I went 11, but this is close enough. Talk to you guys tomorrow.